Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee, Espanol Essential, the Spanish Essential, Sabangaman Gaito. And today we are talking about ordinals numbers and how to tell a date. Numerous ordinales y fecha, fecha y date. Ode will gong joy ho to my dimohe gong yako yati. Numerous ordinales, ordinals number. You use ordinal numbers, those used to express the number in a series. For example, you may say, I am living in the first floor. This is the correct sentence. You may not say, I am living in the one fourth, because one here is just the cardinal number, and the cardinal number is just to use to count something. And ordinal numbers is tell you which four is it. This is the first four, not the one four. So in Spanish, there is also different between the ordinal number and the cardinal number. And for the ordinal number from first to tenth in Spanish, you may say primero, not uno. Because uno is the cardinal number and primero is the ordinal number. Primero, first, segundo, second. De zero, third, cuarto, fourth, quinto, fifth, sexto, sixth, septimo, seventh, octavo, eighth, noveno, ninth, decimo, ten. So from first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, Ninth, tenth, primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, quinto, sexto, séptimo, octavo, noveno, décimo. Now we are going to the rules of using the numerals ordinales. The Spanish speakers rarely use ordinal numbers after ten. That means when the number is up to 10, we use the cardinal number represent the ordinal number. After that, they usually use the cardinal number in both the spoken and the written language. For example, the 15th century, El Sigo Quince. And you can see here, the adjective is based after the noun. We say Sigo first, and then we say Quince, the 15th. Literally, it is the century 15th. El siglo XV, that means the 15th century. And ordinal numbers must agree in gender, because the nouns have the gender masculine or feminized. So the ordinal number also have to be agreed with the noun, with the noun stay modified. You can make ordinal numbers feminized by changing the final O of the masculine form into A. What this means is that you can see here the segundo, if you follow the by a um, feminized noun, you have to change this segundo into segunda, de cero, or cuarto. You have to change it into cuarta, quinta, septa, septima, etc. So if you have a feminized noun, the final O have to change it to A. For example, la cuarta vez. B is the type, and quarter B is the fourth type. This is the fourth type. And in here, you can see the ordinal number is before the noun, not in the example one. In the example one, the quince is after the noun, and in this example, quarta is before the noun. So in some case, the ordinal number is come before the nouns, and in another case, the ordinal number is come after the noun. So you have to be very careful. But which one is correct just depends on the case when you talk about something. And how about if I change this El Sigo Quince to El Quince Sigo? Is this correct? I think in some space they speak in Spanish, they may think you are correct and they will understand what you are talking. So don't worry too much about that. Let me continue the rules of the numerals ordinales. You can see from here the primero, the first, and the tercero, the third. Drop the final O before a masculine singular noun. If this primero follow a singular masculine noun, muchacho, you have to drop this O from it. So you get primer muchacho, not the primero muchacho, the first boy. 
and the verb man. And man is a singular masculine noun. So you drop the O from the desero. You just say el desero hombre. And you remember in H here, the H is silent. So not hombre, it's hombre. El desero hombre. In telling about date, the bimero is the only ordinal number you use all the other days call for the cardinal number. For example, the 1st of May, El Primero de Mayo, the 1st of May. And the 12th of January, El Doce, this is the cardinal number, not the ordinal number. But in English, the 12th is the ordinal number. In Spanish, the 12th is using the cardinal number, El Doce de Enero. Enero is January. So the January the 12th, El Doce de Enero, and the 1st of May, El Primero de Mayo, not El Uno de Mayo, only the first day of the month using the ordinal number, not the cardinal number, and the other days of the month you use the cardinal number. Now we are going to learn the day from Monday to Sunday. Days are important parts of everyday life. If you want to ask what day is this or what day is today, que dias as hoy, que is what, dia is day, as is is or are, and hoy is today, que dia as hoy, what day is today. And you can see in Spanish, if you have a question, interrogative sentence, you have to put a question mark after the sentence and a reverse question mark before the sentence as well. Just like the English quotation or double quotation, you have to close the sentence with a question mark and then reverse question mark at the beginning of the sentence. Get the as hoy, what day is today? That means you want to ask today is Sunday, Monday or the other day of the week. So you ask Get the as hoy, what day is today or what day is it? The other person answer is hoy as and the day of the today. Hoy as is today is, today is someday. So in English for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, five day, Saturday and Sunday. And in Spanish, lunes, Monday, martes, Tuesday. Miércoles, Wednesday, Jueves, Thursday, Viernes, Friday, Sábado, Saturday, Domingo, Sunday. You can see from Monday, Lunes, to Friday, Viernes. The form is in Puro, so you get an S from here. But you have to remember that the form is in Puro. You only talk about one day, one month day, not the other month day. So if I want to say all Mondays, you also use this one for the singular on the Puro form of Monday, Lunes. And for the singular form of Lunes, you put an L, mean the, the Monday, El Lunes, El Martes, El Miércoles, El Jueves, El Viernes. El Sabado, El Domingo, and all these nouns are masculine nouns, not feminized nouns. So you use the masculine the L, not the feminized the La. You don't use La in here. And if this is in plural form, you change this L into Los. Los Lunes, Los Martes. That means the Mondays, the Tuesdays, etc. And also you can see Wednesday, mi egoles, and uh, Saturday, sabado. You have an accent above the A and an accent above the E. That means you just the syllable with this accent. So you say mi egoles, not mi egoles, mi egoles, sabado, and not sabado, because the stress is on this syllable, and the stress is on this syllable for miagoras. So you remember when there is an accent over the vowels of that syllable, the syllable have to be stressed. In other case, the stress will be on the second last syllable. For example, lunes. You don't say lunes, it's lunes. The stress is on the second last syllable here. 
So once again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, el lunes, el martes, el miércoles, el jueves, el viernes, el sábado, el domingo. Las fecha, the date. Unlike the English calendar, the Spanish calendar starts with Monday. This means Monday is the first day, not Sunday is the first day. And the weekend should be Sunday, not Saturday. Unless you use them as the beginnings of a sentence, you don't capitalize the date of the weeks in Spanish. For example, in the following sentence, Monday and Tuesday are vacation days. You can see in English, Monday and Tuesday are also capitalized the first letters, M and T. But in Spanish, lunes is martes, son días de vacaciones. You can see only the start of the sentence, lunes, the L is capitalized. And in the middle of the sentence, martes, Tuesday, is not capitalized the M. This is one of the points you have to remember about the weekdays in Spanish. You don't capitalize it when it is in the middle of a sentence, only in the beginning of the sentence. You use L to expect on. When you have a sentence with the letter on Monday, on Tuesday, you don't use N, you use L. When referring to a particular date of the week and loss, to expect the word on, when the action occurs repeatedly. For example, no trabajo el sábado. That means I am not working on Saturday. This L is represent on, not represent the. I am not working on Saturday, no trabajo el sábado. But if you change it to no trabajos los sábados, that means I don't work on any Saturday. Saturday is my vacation, is my holiday. So every Saturday I don't work. So no trabajo los sábados, because sábado is in plural form. And now we are going to ask for the month from January to December in Spanish. En qué mes? In what month? En mean in or on. Qué? What? Mes? Month? En qué mes? In what month? Someone is asking you in what month a certain event takes place, and they use words from January to December. Enero, January. Febrero. February, Marzo, March, Abu, April, Mayo, May, Junio, June, Julio, July, Agosto, August, Septiembre, or Septiembre, September, Octubre, October, Noviembre, November, and Diciembre, December. Once again, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, Enero, Febrero, Marzo, Abril, Mayo, Junio, Julio, Agosto, Septiembre, Septiembre, Octubre, Noviembre, y Diciembre. And last days of the weeks. The months aren't capitalized in Spanish as well. For example, Junio y Julio son meses agradables. June and July are nice months. You can see in English, the June and July, we capitalize the first letter J, but in Spanish, except the start of the sentence, Junio, and in the middle of the sentence, Julio, is not capitalized the letter J. Along with the months, you may also want to talk about the seasons of the year. In Spanish, the seasons are masculine except la primavera, the spring. That means we have spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Only the spring is a feminized noun and the others are masculine nouns. El invierno, the winter. La primavera, the spring. El verano, the summer. El otoño, the autumn. Or the four. Once again, la primera, el verano, el otoño, el invierno, the spring, the summer, the autumn, and the winter. Hacer una fecha, how we present the dates in Spanish. 
we present it, we add the day first and the word L and the cardinal number of the date except Bimero. And Bimero, we use the ordinal number and we use the word day of, the words of the month and day of and the year. For example, it is Sunday, April 18, 2010. Always as Domingo. Today is Sunday. El Ocho, the 18th. We use the 18th first, de abril of April. El Ocho de abril. So literally in Spanish, today is Sunday, the 18th of April of 2010. Always as Domingo. El Ocho de abril de 2010. In the other example, if today is Monday, June 15, 2020, always as lunes, 15 de junio de 2020, 15th of June 2020. Today is Monday, June 15, 2020, always as lunes, 15 de junio de 2020. Hacer una fecha, create a date. You express the first day of each month with the bimetero. You use cardinal number for all other days. This is one of the rules. So January the 1st, el bimero de enero. And January the 7th, el siete de enero. We don't use el septimo, de dinero. We use the cardinal number siete. So January the 7th, el siete de dinero. The second rule, use L to expect on. We don't use N to expect on for the Spanish day. Partimos el 11 de octubre. We are leaving on October the 11th. Partimos means we are leaving. El 11 de octubre on the 11th of October. Partimos el 11 de octubre. We are leaving on October the 11th. Rule number three. In Spanish, you express years in thousands and hundreds, not only in hundreds. For example, in English, we may say 1492 or 1492, but in Spanish, we don't say 1400. We have to say 1492. Mil cuatrocientos noventa y dos. 1492. Literally, it means 1492. Mil cuatrocientos noventa y dos. And when we speaking of days in everyday language, the words and expression that follow may come in handy for you when you speak in Spanish. A day, un día. Remember, día is a masculine noun. It ends with a but it is a masculine noun. A week, una semana. A month, un mes. A year, un año. And you can see here, the end with the student mark on it. We pronounce it with the sounds just like the sound of yellow in English. So this is un año, not un anno. In, en, ago, hace, per, for, during, durante, next, possimo, last, passato, last in the series, ultimos, if, la bispera, day before yesterday, and a year, yesterday, a year, today, hoy, tomorrow, mañana, and mañana is also mean morning, so tomorrow morning, Mañana por la mañana. Tomorrow afternoon. Mañana por la tarde. Tomorrow night. Mañana por la noche. Tomorrow of the night. It means tomorrow night. Day after tomorrow. Basado mañana. It means this is after tomorrow. Basado. This is past the tomorrow. It's the day after tomorrow. From Days a week from today, de hoy and ocho. This means of today, and we act eight days as well. This is a week from today. Two weeks from tomorrow, de mañana, and dos semanas. 
de mañana. This from tomorrow and dos semanas, two weeks. That's mean two weeks from tomorrow. Within one or within two weeks. Dendo de una semana or dendo de dos semanas. So one again, a day, un días, a week, una semana, a month, un mes, a year, un año, in, and, ago, hace, per, por, during, durante, next, possimo, last, pasado, or pasada, last in a series, último, última, eve, la vispera, day before yesterday, and a year, yesterday, a year, today, hoy, tomorrow, mañana, tomorrow morning, mañana por la mañana, tomorrow afternoon, mañana por la tarde, tomorrow night, mañana por la noche, day after tomorrow, pasado mañana, from, that is, away from today, de hoy en ocho, that's been eight days from today, two weeks from tomorrow, de mañana en dos semanas, within one week, ten dos de una semana, within two weeks, ten dos de dos semanas. So after we have learned how to say the days of week, the days of month, and how to create a day in Spanish, we do some exercise. First of all, we try to translate English into Spanish. Question one, two times per day, we translate it to Do veces por días. This D have to be capitalized because it's in the first letters of a sentence. Today is Wednesday. Hoy es mi égoles. So we translate it into Hoy es mi égoles. Today is Wednesday. What day is today? Que día es hoy? What day is today? And you have to remember to put a reverse question mark in the beginning of the question. Today is Saturday. Hoy es sábados. Today is Monday, June 15, 2020. Hoy es lunes, 15 de junio de 2020. So the answer should be Hoy es lunes, 15 de junio de 2020. After we have translated the English into Spanish, and we try to do some exercise from Spanish to English. La fecha era. Era means was. La fecha 1993. The day was 1993. So the day was 1992. La fecha era 1993. Question 2. Nasi, Nasi mean I was born. El Bende on 20. De junio of June. De mil novecientos ochenta y diez. One thousand nine hundred eighty and three. That mean I was born on the 20th of June, 1983. I was born on June 20, 1983. El Quinto Mes, the fifth month. The año es mayo of the year is May. The fifth month of the year is May. El quinto mes de año es mayo. The fifth month of the year is May. Sábado y domingo, Saturday and Sunday, son vacaciones, are holidays. Sábado y domingo son vacaciones. Saturday and Sunday are holidays. Voy a I, voy a I, I am going to go. Boy a e and as the BNS on this five day. Boys are e and as the BNS. I will go on this five day. And you can see as the it means this. The translate to English is I will go on this five day. Boy are e and as the BNS. I will go on this five day. Okay, after you have learned all the days of the weeks and the days of the month and how to create a day with some exercise to translate from Spanish and with some exercise to translate to Spanish. I will stop this section here and I will teach you another things about Spanish in the next section. Goodbye and good luck.
Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a private tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多謝大家收聽我呢個 video。如果你係希望你個 mathematics 同埋你個英文係更加好嘅話咧，你想要一個 private tutor 啦，你可以隨時 contact 我嘅，令到你個 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因為我都有一啲私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅。多謝大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。